Good morning. Yeah, my, the title of my uh, slide is still Transition and Survival Democracy in Burma. But uh, this is my, uh, the title of my old slide, but uh, I, I had to change my slide uh, yesterday because I think it is a bit uh, very uh, not related to the presentation time in, in here. So I changed some of my slides, uh, all of my slides, <laughs> uh, again. And so I, <clears throat> so pardon me in for my poor presentation skill. So um, I am serving now as an executive director of Yangon School of Political Science now. And uh, you will see the symbol, uh, the, the logo of Yangon School of Political Science like this. And this is the symbol of the student <coughs> movement in Burma. This is the tail of the peacock. The peacock. The peacock, fighting peacock is the symbol of the student movement in Burma. That's why we adopted the symbol, this symbol as our school logo to represent uh, our spirits of fighting against the territorial rule uh, since 1962. Because uh, student unions in Burma played, have been playing very significant role in every significant moment of our political struggle. That's why we adopted this symbol. And before, uh, we, we founded this Young School of Political Science in 2010, November, after all of our colleagues, uh, including me and my colleagues, uh, were released from the prison. And then we, we, we aspire quality education because you, you will not believe that uh, how poor our education system is. So we, the, the only method in our education system, including the higher education university, is only by memorizing. So uh, in, the, in, in other parts of the world, uh, there is a principle called plagiarism, which you, you will have to be uh, complying with very strictly. But uh, the memorization system makes us memorize everything in your textbook. And if you memorize and write down 100% of the text, then you will get 100 mark. So you will not imagine how poor our education system is. That's, uh, this is our first aspiration, why we want to establish this kind of young school of organic science. And we did some of our self-study in the prison and out of the prison. And then we, we think that uh, our, uh, most of the political activists in Burma are doing the opposition or dissidents' work only because of their grievance or the whatsoever resentments. So the, we, we, we think that we, we need to fill this gap, the education gap and the knowledge gap to our uh, young activists. That's why uh, with two uh, aspirations, that is to, uh, and another, another thing we want to establish the, uh, why we want to establish Young School of Progress is because our country is, uh, be, uh, has been under digital rule since 1962. We got independence from the British colony from 90, in, in 1948, and then 1962 there is a military coup, and, and then the military coup uh, in 1974, the regime changed itself to be to became known as Burmese Bam, socialist regime, and it adopted the very authoritarian or totalitarian constitution up to 1988. And then in 1998, there is a student, very powerful student movement in 1988, and the regime was toppled down by the movement, but only to see the, a more repressive military regime to follow. So. Since 1988 to 2008, we have been living under the very repressive, you, you cannot uh, believe how repressive it is, and how poor situation in Burma. So in, uh, up to 2008. In 2008, because of the uh, very frequent uprising and demonstration and uh, enhancing, increasing pressure from the international community, the Burmese government uh, made the top-down transition. They decided to do top-down transition with limited access to freedom and some, some sort of uh, fake or show, show, show off. And then they adopted the 2008 constitution which, which only portray the civilian, semi-civilian government with 
the strands of military regime also. So uh, in, since 1962, uh, whenever there is a legitimacy crisis on the ruling government, the, the tactic of the ruling government to divert people's attention on their government is creating sectarian violence, especially between the Buddhist community and the Christian community, uh, Muslim community. <coughs> so ever since 1962, we have seen a lot of sectarian violence and uh, persecution against mus minority Muslim people. But Muslim people are not the only victims of that kind of diversion tool. It is also Christian community because in Chin State, which was border with the Indian, in Indian uh, Missouri State, is and the Chin State, northern part of Burma, is pop densely populated with Christian population. There were a lot of disruptions to the charges, Christian charges by the military governments. That, that, that sort of thing. So we think that uh, even if we are successful in making transition to democracy, our democracy will turn. Autonom automatically to the tyranny of majority if we cannot, uh, we cannot develop liberal idea in our civil society. This is our thinking when we have to, when we think to establish the Young School of Political Science. That's, uh, we envision Young School of Political Science as a, a liberal philosophical vanguard of the liberal philo philosophical movement in Burma and also to provide and uh, providing uh, in academic institution, providing the quality in, uh, education in Burma to whosoever interested in it. Interested in it. So uh, that's why uh, we 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 did a lot of things uh, to fulfill our aspiration of the liberal philosophical movement. We founded philosophic philosophy club, and then we we did the regular political science class. We did. Diploma class. Now we will be launching a master program this year, inviting some of the uh, outstanding uh, professor from United States, from United Kingdom, and uh, across the world. And uh, th this master program will not be acknowledged or accredited by any university or the, the govern our government itself. But there are a lot of demand from our community, and so we are very happy to launch this master program. Uh, although we are not. Uh, acknowledged by any institution. So uh, we also try to, in combating, uh, uh, combating military ideology, by, by, by which I mean that a military in our country think, uh, portray themselves as messiah or savior of our country. Whenever the country is, the country is in crisis, the military is the messiah, and it had to uh, save the country from whatever crisis it, it is facing. So uh, we, we are now uh, we are now making efforts to convey our message that military is not the savior or the messiah. It is the public servant, uh, and defense is its duty, not not the the noble thing we have to thank for to. This kind of this sort of thing, and we are in a very dangerous situation in conveying this message. That's why Young School of Political Science has to move uh, every year because of the increasing pressure from the intelligence on our landlords. So we have been moving our apartments here and there annually, uh, whenever there is the contract ends for our rental apartments. So, and, and also we engage in constitutional reform because uh, as you know, 2008 constitution is the literally unilaterally drafted by the military with its own handpicked people in the assembly. And so it contained a lot of undemocratic features and the 25% uh, automatic seats in the parliament. So, and now we, we, are, we are making more money, more enemy. I mean, uh, in the past, our only enemy is our government. Now, because of our liberal philosophical movement, the society itself turns their anger to our institution. Most of the time, we have to fear that when, when the crowd, the anger, angry crowd will come to our uh, country, uh, to our school, and when they will burn, they will burn down our school because of our liberal ideologies presenting in this this way. Yeah, so. Sorry.
they are so Mia, this is the, Mia, you are yeah. out of time. So if you yeah. want to just close, thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.